How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to get rid of pectix excavatum without surgery. So that is right. A lot of people are probably thinking you cannot get rid of it without surgery. It's impossible. Here's the thing. Before we get started in this video, if you guys are having any chest pains at all, any pains at all in your chest, then I highly recommend that you guys go to a doctor right now because that could be serious. If you're having any pain at all with this, go to the doctor right now. Don't try to watch this video and think that you can get rid of the pain. It may be serious, go to the doctor. With that being said, again, some people will say that it's impossible to get rid of the sunken chest without surgery, it's impossible. That's incorrect. What you can do is you can do your best to make the other muscles around it appear bigger and you can fix your posture as well. So what this will do is this will make the hole in your chest is very minimal, you guys. You will not even notice it at all. Trust me on this, you guys. Really recommend you guys try this. So to fix your posture, this is what happens. Most people, their posture is like this. They're very hunched over and um, their posture is just awful. What I always tell people is keep your chest up when you're walking and anything that you're doing, just keep your chest up. That's a great way to, proper, to follow proper uh, posture simply because Chest up, shoulders back, that's proper posture. This is what people do, most people. Their chest caved in, shoulders caved in. So when you have pectus excavatum and your shoulders are caved in, this is gonna make that hole in your chest appear way bigger, way bigger. So without even talking about building any muscles or what exercises to use, we will get to that in a bit. Simply fixing your posture is gonna make that hole in your chest from here to like this, and, and you can see just by me doing that, look it, if you have a hole here, and you go like this, look, the hole the hole's gonna be very minimal just by uh, fixing your posture. Now some people are gonna be like, well, how, how do we go about fixing the posture? Do we just keep, keep our chest up? No, that's what you should do, but since your chest is caved in already from not having good posture, what you wanna do now is you wanna get that chest up and you wanna practice proper posture. And you can do that with bands, you guys. Resistance bands will allow you guys to do this. So the best movement that you can possibly do for this is band pull-aparts, you guys. That's right, band pull-aparts. And this will make your guys' posture crazy good. This is what I gave a couple of my clients that had horrible posture, you guys. They were like this. I gave them a couple of band pull-apart workouts and now their posture is like this and they have even noticed that they have actually got a little bit taller as well. Just, they're like, just simply from improving their posture, they're like, wow, you know what, actually, everyone keeps saying I look a little bit taller. Don't look taller, you just, you fixed your posture, improved your posture. And again, it will fix that hole in your chest, you guys. It will make it look, at least 25% better, at least you guys make, like probably 50% better, like completely night and day difference, simply by improving your posture. So the second thing that you can do, once your posture is improved, that hole in your chest doesn't look as bad now. Now some people are, are probably gonna be thinking, you know what, I still want more. I wanna I want hide it more, I wanna hide it more, so when I take off my shirt, you know, it, it still won't be noticeable. That's fine, you can still do that. And what you wanna do now is you want to really attack your chest muscles, that's right. Preferably the upper chest, you guys, because what happens is when people are developing their chest muscles, what they do is they develop their lower chest. That's what they do. A lot of people, majority of people out there have a very, very overdeveloped lower chest. Their upper chest is horrible, completely horrible. And when I say upper and lower, it's the same as pec major, pec minor. That's the proper words for it. But their upper chest is non-existent. Their lower chest is extremely developed. And what's that from? Doing loads of flat barbell bench. A lot of people, barbell bench, barbell bench, barbell bench. How many times do they do incline barbell, incline dumbbell, incline flies? Never, you guys, or very rarely do they actually perform those. So we can, hands down right now, we can improve our chest. If you have been benching, if you have been doing these uh, push-ups even, barbell bench, flat dumbbell bench, uh, flat pec flies, if you have been trying to make your uh, pectus excavatum better by performing these exercises, you may actually have been doing yourself a disservice because when your lower chest is developed, it's actually gonna make that hole appear a little bit bigger. But by making that upper chest bigger, it's also, or it's gonna help it much more. Don't get me wrong, having a developed lower chest will help 
pectus excavatum, but if your upper chest is not developed, it's gonna look very weird, trust me on this. So again, if you have been flat barbell benching, flat dumbbell benching, flat pec flies, that's fine, that, that's good that you have developed that muscle, but now it's time to start developing the upper part of your chest. So here's a workout that I recommend that you guys do twice a week. And again, I will still incorporate a little bit of lower uh, pec, lower pec work, just simply because if you don't train it, then it is gonna go away, the muscle will go away, so you wanna stimulate it just a little bit, you guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two chest, upper chest movements and one lower chest movement. So for the two upper chest movements, you're gonna have different exercises to choose from. You can have, this is what I recommend, incline barbell bench, incline dumbbell bench, incline pec flies, or incline uh, dumbbell flies, and then incline cable flies, you guys. So those are the four exercises that you can have to choose from. Pick two of those. I highly recommend picking, say like an incline barbell bench, and then say like uh, an incline uh, dumbbell fly, or pick a incline dumbbell bench, and then click an incline cable fly. Just pick any one of those movements, and again, you can add more uh, upper chest movements if you have any more. So do that, you guys. Once you have picked two of those exercises, perform four sets of 10 repetitions on each one of those exercises. That'll give you eight sets in total. The last four sets is gonna be any lower chest movement you want at all. It could be flat barbell bench, dumbbell bench, it doesn't matter. You don't even need to pick a movement because when you're hitting your upper chest, you also incorporate a little bit of your lower chest. So you don't even need any lower chest workout at all. If your lower chest is extremely developed, then I highly recommend just go with upper chest movements and be done with it. Two exercises, four sets of 10, very easy. Now what you will notice is that this upper chest area, you guys, it will start developing. And then what's gonna happen is that people are gonna be like, wow, they're gonna start looking at this muscle more than that caved in chest because the sunken in chest comes from the lower sternum, you guys. Your upper chest is gonna be up here. So people are gonna be looking at that upper chest. They're not gonna be looking at that hole, really. And again, because we have increased our posture, we've improved our posture, it's gonna go from being like this to like this. You're instantly gonna look better, you guys. So if you just wanna fix it just a little bit, you don't even need to do those exercises. All you need to do is the band pull apart, you guys, do that. But if you really want to do the extra little bit to completely, like, really hide it, again, it's not gonna, it's never gonna be completely gone because you have a hole in your chest. There's nothing that we can do other than filling it up with something. So I'm not a doctor, I don't know how to do it, but there's always gonna be just a little bit. So we're trying to minimize it as much as possible. So if you really want to do it more, again, do the exercises, the upper chest movements, really develop them. So end the video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please share the video and like it. Thanks.